In this chapter, we will discuss the electronic structure of atoms using quantum mechanics. We start from the basics of quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is a branch of physics, which is a fundamental theory of nature at small scales and low energy levels. Small scale is the scale of electrons, atoms and molecules. At this scale the dominant interaction between particles is electromagnetic. Low energy means the speeds of particles are much lower than the speed of light, so that we don't need to consider any effect from relativity. The biggest difference between classical mechanics and quantum mechanics is their mathematical formulations of states and physical quantities. In quantum mechanics, the mathematical formulations of the states of the physical systems are wave functions. While the mathematical formulations of the physical quantities, also known as observables, are operators. In this table, I summarize the key differences between classical mechanics and quantum mechanics in describing a particle. It requires some knowledge in vector calculus to fully understand, but it is fine if you don't understand it for the purpose of general chemistry. The time-dependent wave function is a complex value function of position and time. The physical meaning of the wave function is given by the Copenhagen interpretation. Physical systems generally do not have definite physical quantities prior to measurement. Quantum mechanics can only predict the probabilities of outcomes in measurements. For instance, the square of the modulus of the wave function is the probability to find the particle in unit volume at given place and time. The evolution of time-dependent wave function is governed by the time-dependent Schrödinger equation. It is a partial differential equation. We will not try to solve it here. But I will try to explain it. In the Schrödinger equation, Hamiltonian is the operator for mechanical energy. The mechanical energy of a particle is the sum of its kinetic energy and potential energy. It is the same in classical and quantum mechanics. The kinetic energy of the particle can be expressed as the square of its momentum divided by two times of its mass. The potential energy is a function of its position. We can separate the position and time in the time-dependent wave function. By doing this, we get the time-independent Schrödinger equation. This is the Schrödinger equation which we use for later discussion. Lower case i is the solution to the time-independent Schrödinger equation. It is called the time-independent wave function. It corresponds a quantum state. E is the energy of the state. A physical system can have multiple states and energies, because a differential equation can have multiple solutions. The states with identical energy are degenerate. The number of states with identical energy is the energy's degeneracy. In quantum mechanics of one-dimensional space, the operator for potential energy is a function of x. While the operator for momentum is a differentiation with respect to x. Combining the operators for kinetic energy and the potential energy, we have the Hamiltonian in one-dimensional space. Thus, the time-independent Schrödinger equation in one-dimensional space is in such form. It is an ordinary differential equation. We use a particle in a quantum well as an example. A quantum well is a such potential. In the interval between 0 and L, the potential energy is 0. Elsewhere, the potential energy is infinity. There is no possibility to find the particle outside the well because the potential energy of a particle must be a finite value. The wave function outside well is zero. We only need to consider the Schrödinger equation inside the well. The Schrödinger equation inside the well reads like this. The general solution to it is shown below. It is the sum of a sine function and a cosine function. Here, a and b are arbitrary constants. You may not know how to solve the differential equation, but it's very easy to check the solution. Quantum mechanics has other physical requirements in addition to mathematics. It requires that the wave function must be continuous. Since the wave function is zero outside well, it must be zero at the boundaries as well. They are the boundary conditions. For example, when x is zero, the wave function is b. So, b must be zero. When x equals l, the wave function is a sine function. For a sine function to be zero, the phase must be an integer multiple of pi. 
The phase cannot always be zero, otherwise the wave function is always zero. Meanwhile, the positive phase and negative phase have the same physical meaning. Therefore, we only need to consider the positive multiples of pi. The multiple is a positive integer called quantum number. Quantum numbers are central concepts in quantum mechanics. The final step is to find the value of A. It is achieved by normalization. We know that the total probability of finding the particle in the well is 1. The total probability is the integral of probability density in the well. And the probability density is the square of the modulus of wave function. We can insert the wave function with A. By integrating, we can find the value of A. To be restrict, A can be any complex number of the same modulus. But all of them have the same physical meaning. So, we just use the simplest one. The final wave function is such a function. The wave function looks like a wave. That is why it is called wave function. The wavelength is determined by the size of the well and the quantum number. The nodes are the positions where the wave function is zero. The number of nodes depends on the quantum number. From the wave function and the Schrodinger equation, we can find the energies of the states. It is obvious that the energies are discrete and dependent on the quantum number. The state of the lowest energy is the ground state. Here, I show you four wave functions with the lowest energies. The zero point of each wave function is offset by a value proportional to its energy. So that we can see their shapes and relative energies clearly. Pay attention to the numbers and positions of the nodes. On the right, I show the probability densities. For example, in the ground state, there is a high probability to find the particle in the middle, and it decreases toward the two boundaries. When the quantum number is 2, the probability density has two maxima. In contrast, in the middle, the probability to find the particle is zero. Consider the time evolution of the wave functions. Time-dependent wave functions form standing waves. As the quantum number increases, the wavelength decreases while the energy and the frequency of oscillation increase. It is like the vibration of guitar strings. Let's use two-dimensional quantum well as another example. The potential energy is zero when both x and y are between zero and l, and is infinity elsewhere. Like the one-dimensional quantum well, there is no probability to find the particle outside well. Therefore, we only need to solve the Schrodinger equation inside the well. The Schrodinger equation inside the well is shown below. This time, I will not give you the detailed solution process, but give you the results directly. We can see that the forms of wave function and energy are similar to the one-dimensional case. However, there are two quantum numbers for x and y directions, respectively. Here, I show the shapes of six wave functions of the lowest energies. The ground state is the state of nx equals ny equals 1. For simplicity, we can call it state 1, 1. The states of the second lowest energy are state 2, 1 and state 1, 2. They are degenerate states. Similarly, state 3, 1 and state 1, 3 are degenerate. In contrast, state 2, 2 is non-degenerate because no state has the same energy as it. Here, I show you the summary of the Schrodinger equation. A Schrodinger equation usually has multiple solutions, corresponding to different states. A certain state corresponds to a certain set of values of the quantum numbers. Vice versa, a certain set of values of quantum numbers correspond to a certain state. The number of quantum numbers is the number of the dimensions of the space. A certain state has a certain energy. Degenerate states have the same energy. The state of the lowest energy is the ground state. All the other states are excited states. 